YouTube, we are checking out the Premier Core Draft, Premier Core Set Draft on Magic Arena. So it's got a pack of each of the three different core sets from the past three years, so 19, 20, 21. And we are going to do a Premier Draft of that, so best of one, but let's see what we opened here. We have the six drop. Seems powerful. What else do we have? Rex Sage. Seder Enchanter, that's interesting, could be kind of a build around for some kind of enchantment style deck. Melina could just be a pretty good 6 drop. Make a bunch of 1-1s. One Give your board indestructible. Plus it kind of leaves you open to anything else, and I don't know if there's anything else particularly uh, spectacular here. Maybe Electrify, but I think we just take Lina. Just a, a decent rare. Alright, so what do we have to follow it up with? Where the pack is Alpine Moon, that's probably pretty bad. Mirror Image would be very interesting with Lina. You would get the ETB effect, but then you'd have to sacrifice one of them. Uh, Rise from the Grave. Angel of Dawn. Angel Dawn would be supporting a go wide type style. There's also Druid of the Cowl, maybe try to ramp stuff faster. Disperse is interesting too, but probably don't want to be picking it that early. I think since I have something of a powerful ETB effect on Lena, I guess we can go with Rise from the Grave. It is expensive. I gotta be mindful of that. Okay, what else have we got? There's a couple of two drops in black or white. We can take the Chaplain or the Child. There's Talons, another enchantment. So there's a couple of enchantments kind of flung around. He's also Timber Gorge, but I don't really necessarily think I want to take a duel in colors that I'm not even close to yet. Nightly Valor is okay too, but again, it's pretty expensive and um, it's getting two for one if you're paying five to get this enchantment and they just blow up your creature, you're going to be down substantially. We take the chaplain. I feel like if we have big things, we're going to want to be more stall -y. We want to stall the game longer. That could kind of play well with having a 1 3 as opposed to a 2 1. 2 1's going to probably just trade for something, whereas 1 3's could dissuade attacks going forward. Desecrated Tomb. One or more creatures leave your graveyard. That seems like a pretty, eh, pretty uh, imp tough to do effect. We only have one escape card. There is stone quarry here in case you want to end up splashing red or being just red white. Volley veteran. Four mana deal one at the mm -hmm. moment. Also Dwarven Priest. I think we'll take the Stone Quarry here. It's possible we do end up in some kind of like aggro deck and just not playing black at all. Wouldn't be uh, too far-fetched. There's Rogue's Gloves. Potentially good. Hard Advantage I think is especially powerful in core sets where there aren't many high-powered things. Some Manolith, Cancel, Mighty Leap. Yeah, I think Rogue's Gloves is just solid. Not very exciting, but it's colorless. And, you know, it helps you just get card advantage in a grindy potential format. I guess that's probably important too, because we have all these different kinds of core sets, there are going to be less synergies floating around. So, just another thing to keep in mind. 
Okay, so there is Goblin Instigator. Benefit, go wide. So it would only give one extra creature with Lena. You'd get Inspired Charge. I think Instigator, just a solid two drop. Augur Brute, that's pretty good too, I think. So we might be kind of edging into aggro. Okay, so there's Novice Knight, Knight's Pledge, Mighty Leap. Could take Novice Knight. So we have one enchantment, or rather one equipment so far. Knight's Pledge seems kind of iffy. We take this. Just a good one drop, potentially. Okay, then there's Restwing Falcon. We have Lena. We have these couple of good red cards. Satyr's Enchanter did wheel. But do we take Restwing? Do we take Satyr Enchanter and try to go into enchantments? I think we take the Falcon. It does look like we're just going to be going for red white aggro at this point. Motivator, give something haste. Alpine Moon. Already have a set of those, it looks like, so I don't really need to pick that. We could just take the Motivator. Ember Gorge. I guess we take the Spark Tongue Dragon. Decent flyer, and if we somehow flood out, we could uh, use it pretty effectively to deal extra damage. Here. I guess let's take the tomb. I don't think we're going to want another motivator. Um, I guess we could take the waltz. And root snare, I guess. Not playing those. Alright. What do we got? There is a Scorch Spitter. There is an Atemsis, but I think I'm really far from playing that. Dragon Mage, probably pretty bad for me. How many drag or goblins do we have? I actually have three goblins so far. So Goblin Ringleader could be okay. It's also like Vial of Dragonfire. I think we take the Ringleader. Maybe you hope to wheel one of these other red cards. Rise from the grave, I guess. Okay, what do we got here? Soul Mender, Yoked Ox, not particularly good. There is God's Willing. Protect some of my stuff on the cheap. Yeah. We can probably go with God's Willing. Here. Nice little trick. Okay. Squad Captain, Inspiring Captain. There's a lot of good white cards here. Safara. We don't have many creatures of flying yet. We have what? The Falcon? The Dragon, too. We probably can't cast Safara reliably. Inspiring Captain might be the better pick. Moment of Heroism. Raise the Alarm. Raise the Alarm, yeah, it could be decent. Or a lot of the Inspiring um, Charges or whatever, wheeling those effects that get plus two, plus one. Cheated Reverberation. Colossus Hammer. I think we just want another raise the alarm. We can maybe wield the angel. Okay, mask of immolation. That's something. There's the inspired charge. The pack mastiff. Bash, uh, battalion foot soldier. Probably not all that great. I think we just want the mask here. It would be just a way that we can use our board of creatures to uh, deal damage. Our our little one ones. Them go face. Okay, so there's a lot of cheap 
white cards here. Take a Sentinel. I don't have any three drops at the moment. I only have one, so I think maybe the three drop is the pick. Oh, another God's Willing might not be terrible either. I think we need other ways to get in here. Okay, here I think we take the Inspire Charge, because like I was saying, we'd, we'd want some of those to help just uh, seal the deal with this Go Wide deck. Okay, there's the score spitter. Also Dragon Mage. I think we don't want Dragon Mage, it's just way too expensive. We'll take a, another one drop, I suppose. See if we can't just run over our opponents before they uh, know what hit them. Soul Mender, Ripscale Predator, Yoke Docks. I guess we just take the Mender, Edward. Okay, so Eternal Isolation or Squad Captain Wield. We have one five drop right now. Yeah, we can take the Squad Captain. Um, moment of Isolation or Moment of Heroism. I don't think we want Disenchant right now. Take a Champion. Another Inspire Charger, Flaring Aegis. Uh, I think we take the Aegis. We don't want too many Inspired Charges, and I, I think we could probably get another one in the next pack. Clearing Aegis could be good to get through an attack. It also turn on Norvus Knight, but it attack as a 3-5. Yeah, it's, or a 3-6, I guess, because it's 1-3. Yeah. And it's cheaper, their Inspired Charge. How many goblins do we have? Four goblins at the moment. Okay, what do we got? Pack number three. Warded Battlements. That is interesting, but it might wield. There's Fuhrer of the Bitten Goblin Wizardry. How many non creatures do we have? Five instants, a couple enchantments. Feels bad picking warded battlements, but it might be the pick. It also fits into the three drops. Yeah, I think we just take battlements here. Uh, like I said, it goes with our go wide board state. There's selfless savior or makeshift battalion. We don't have all that many creatures we really care about protecting, so I don't know that selfless savior is going to be what we want. Makeshift battalion could be a good way to force, um, rather just uh, help develop the board with all these uh, little tokens we're having. You know, it's going to probably turn into a 4-3 just mo mostly for free. I think we take the battalion here. Okay, what do we got? Thrill of Possibility. Shield Mate, probably not. Light of Promise. Daybreak Charger could be okay as well. Buff something when it enters, and then it's just a 3-1, which is not terrible. Um... Kind of see how many ways I have to gain life to see if Light of Promise is worth taking. We have a couple of chaplains. Uh, not many. There's the moment of heroism, but I think we take the charger here. Okay. Subira. That's actually potentially really good. It also take Angelic Ascension, use it on our own creatures. Get a 4-4 four, four flyer. But I think just using the um, 
ability on Subira is going to be pretty nice. Making it so that they can't block any of my stuff. Definitely going to be helpful. Magma is going to be ready to just close out games. Pinger. Maybe take out the dragon. What do we got here? Spellgorger weird. We have like eight non-creature spells. The weird could be okay. Fear of the bitten is kind of like an all-in, but on the other hand, like it's also cheap and it's also potentially really good. My opponent doesn't have an answer. So I think the weird's gonna be a bit better here. Because we have all these other things and um, it's a little less all in. Traitorous Greed could just be a good in the game effect. Bubble Fiend could be good too, where we have this kind of go wide stuff, we could maybe just pump it and threaten to protect itself or kill my opponent. Is also another warded battlements. I do have a lot of creatures, but um, I think we'll go with the hobble team. Okay, I'm gonna get a Pegasus, Vitalize, Genetic Augur, War Drop. Only have five instants, so it's probably not worth taking. Take another battalion, I guess. Here of the Bitten, I think we'll take that now. I have to make some cuts, no doubt. Okay, nothing I really want here. Yeah, Light of Promise still doesn't seem good enough. Drill Possibility could be okay. Burn Bright. Could also be okay. Could play that as another pump effect for the team. Crash through. Okay, so probably end up taking out these champions. I'm not really looking to gain life, and one threes aren't that exciting. Do a fair number of things that don't go wide though on two. Oh, we even get no elements if we want it. Not sure it's worth playing, but uh, we'll have to determine that. There's an Aegis, God's Willing, your Money creatures. Alright, seven more cuts. Maybe six, if we want to play 16 lands, which I think is uh, reasonable. take out one of the battlements. Two seems a bit excessive. Take out a sentinel. Another kind of bad three drop that we don't necessarily want. I have to get in mind too that this is in fact best of one so sideboarding is going to be an option or an issue. Opponent's decks are too greedy we are just going to run them over. But on the other hand if my opponents are playing a lot of interaction, a lot of removal, we won't be able to cite in our, um, I guess really, the gods willing, if we wanted to keep that in, or cite our fewer of the bitten. Lena is expensive. Cutting her. Let's see where we end up. Goblins. We have four goblins. If we have like three other goblins in a 40 card deck, I've already drawn seven of them, seven cards, so it's like three out of 33. Drawing four from that. Doesn't seem all that great.
Without God's willing. I guess it does play well if we have the enchantments. You know, I'm putting that back in because we don't have all that much interaction. It could just be a good combat trick. Okay. We're going to try it out. Pony goes first, but we seem to have a nice start. Falcon and Damask into Battalion attack. Big on T number four. Well, of course, like I said, start out with the Rust Wing, Falcon. This is a free ability, right? Ping. That's good as well. I'm going to go Plain Swamp. They play Seasoned Hallow Blade. That is a good one. Uh, so we can go to combat here. This is actually really good for mass because we can block. They would have to pitch a card to gain indestructibility, and then we can sack the um, mask token to give or to deal another damage it's anything right yeah so we can ping the hell again so potentially like uh almost like three for one in them because the mask stays and the, the one one is you know nothing Reading the ability, determining if it's good or not to attack. We decide it is. We're gonna take the block then. They want to pitch two cards. You do that. They pitch a finishing blow. They pitch. Okay. Get your blood. Raise the alarm. That's pretty nice too. We play a mountain. Attack or one. I guess we just run out the battalion. I could have instead kept up raise the alarm. Flash out a black card. Play Bazzer's Acolyte, okay. Back here. We see no blocks. Clearing Aegis, okay. We have four mana, we can raise the alarm, glaring ages, smoke of heroism. We could just glaring ages on the battalion. We're glaring ages on the Falcon. To do more damage in the long term. But I think being able to kill their Acolyte or their Black Guard is better, so we should probably put up the Battalion. So we'll send with one. Okay, opponent doesn't block. Play the Aegis. the Acolyte. 
We have an okay spot. Unless they have like a kill spell in their hand. I, mean, I guess they did discard one, so that kind of points to them maybe having another one. So we're gonna raise the alarm. Another land, of course. Good send here with the Falcon Italian in a 1 1. I guess we do need to win the game sometime. On the crackback though, they're going to be dealing uh, two lifelinks. So they're gain going to gain back two of the life. Would make our battalion a 5-6. can pump their black card and pump it to an 8-8. Make eight. a double block with the Hallow Blade and the black card and then kill my battalion even if I pumped with the moment. We're gonna say uh no no attacks with the Italian here. I'll attach the mask onto a 1-1. I guess if they tap down, we can sack these two tokens to kill the Blackguard. I'm place Lich's Caress. Yep, that's a good one. We can kill the Acolyte, or we can kill the Blackguard. Kill the black card next turn by just sacking her falcon and the token. So I think we do this, we take um seven, we gain three backs, we take four, we go to nine. Maybe 16 lands is too many. Or five. One of those two cards left in hand. Valorous Steed. That's a good one. I think they got us. Okay, here's so we have a Novus Knight. Also, um, Daybreak Charger, Moment of Heroism, Raise the Alarm. Here, since we don't have any good one-drop ways to enchant Novus Knight, and that's still true with the draw, I think we run out Stone Quarry. Well, I guess we don't have any three drops either, so I guess we can just run out Novus Knight now, now that I drew that mountain. The opponent led with a Bloodfell Caves, so they gained a life. I think we probably want to be with the Chandra's Magma. And on a subsequent turn, we get a like moment of heroism held up. The opponent is going to duress us. Sure. We got the moment of heroism. Play the land that they know about. Play the magma. We can play out the charger, swing four potentially with the magma. Walk the 
corpse. Burn bright. Okay. Play the quarry. Pass the turn. I'm gonna trade my two two for a two two. Especially when my two two can ping them for one. That's not a good trade by any measure. Play death bloom salad. Okay. Don't imagine they attack here. I'll ping them for one. Raise the alarm. Makeshift battalion. Okay. I think we want to just play out that battalion. Uh, subsequent turn, we can just swing out. Burn bright. We deal a bunch of damage. Murder Battalion. Yeah, can't stop that. Here is good. Or Sibira, excuse me. It has haste, but uh I think we do this so that in case they do have like a shock or something, a kill spell, we aren't getting blown out by that. It does the same amount of damage anyway, you know, by letting the magma attack we could get two through, or by just doing this and then tapping the magma, we still get two through. They have a removal spell for Subira, that's going to be rough. I do think but just doing this is uh, it's going to be great here. My hand's low too, so I can almost uh, do the effect of... Discarding the hand and then activating her ability to draw a bunch of cards. Not half bad. Here what we can do is give one of these 1-1s one uh, un unblockable in time to turn, and then play the Daybreak Charger on it. Um, and we can, I guess, give all these unblockable. Swing for 6. Devils. Okay. If we draw land next turn, we can give these three unblockable and swing in for 10 damage by using Burn Bright. That'd be pretty nice. The opponent, though, is one mana. They opt to attack here. Block the Walking Corpse. Or I guess no, we'll block over here. Go to 13. Seems fine. Block with Sigura. Okay, so we can actually equip the, the Novice Knight here with the Rogue Gloves, but let's see. Okay, so if we swing out, they block the 3-1, and they're going to take, what, 15, or no, 10 extra damage from uh, the Burn Bright. So I think we just, uh, <laughs> I guess it's going to be less than that. So they would block here, they take 8 damage, but uh, yeah, this will do it. doing some work. Okay, we go first. We have a T2 play, T3 play. One of a turn one play. A little awkward, but not the end of the world. Subira is great, as we just saw. When it starts with a swamp, it starts with a steward. Okay, we run out of magnet. You want to sack Steward, you probably pitch Aegis. Aegis. 
or squad captain. A diamond there. They are red black, evidently. I just ran out battalion. Um, pass the turn. Kingdom for one. Suspicious bookcase. Okay. Seems like a suspicious include in their deck, but uh, who am I to judge? Card of Planes. Coming for one. Raise the alarm. Gonna be very good with Italian and enabling it. Um, either play Aegis, tap down the bookcase, get in six damage potentially if we put the. Aegis on the Magma. We play. Oh, I guess we do this. This uh, Subira has haste, so we swing out. I don't have any good blocks. I guess they can just um, block both of those and not have any of their creatures die. But we get four. Okay. Yep. So they take the blocks. Four though. Next turn, you can Aegis. And uh, we can have like Magnet be unblockable or something. And then Zebo Key. Buffs their zombies. Okay, so when their stuff dies, they can pay mana to make zombies. Now they raise the alarm. So I guess now they could potentially double block Subira. I guess what we can do is put the Aegis on Subira, tap one of their things, um, their bookcase I guess, and then make it so that Magma can't be blocked. Swing. They don't have mana to Zombie, okay, they go to five. I say good game, a good game. Swing one at me. Get another lanes. Um, they have four power. We attack with everything though. Yeah, we can just uh. Give Magma unblockable. Swing. Off of the bookcase. Fuck the mare. Probably make a zombie. I'll make a dissenter or block with dissenter. Okay, they get two zombies. Sure. Three though. Next turn we have raise the alarm, and we just make all the uh, humans unblockable. The fact that they're three life as well. I'm gonna play turret over. Okay, they gain a life though, so they go four. Back with the zombie. Of OT. We'll go to fifteen. Okay, and then we'll play the raise the alarm. Um, and we should have it. Okay, here we go. Okay, this looks fairly good. Kind of the dream curve. Spitter into Rays into Battlements, swing for like 6 on turn 3. I will take that. Will indeed. Okay, opponent doesn't have a T1 play. Make a 2.
No T2 play. So. Opponent. You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to just have some action. You want to. The next for making glaring Aegis. Tap down whatever they have. Get in for six more. Seven more, I guess, because this is going to buff. Okay. On it, they can lock and hard. Okay, Patrician. This is great too, because we can Aegis into Bogart Brute now. So we put the Aegis on the Spitter by the Brute. Swing in here. One's at three life now. I'll thank them. The dream start. If they can recover. The fact that I have a three to menacer in addition to all these other things, makes me think the answer is no. Do have also a squad captain in hand, so if we draw land 5, we can just get a giant captain that's going to be vigilancing for, uh, what, 7? And I'll get 5 counters. But, I mean, if everything goes according to plan, we just win here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it, it just doesn't get much better than that. It just doesn't get much better than that. That's like, that's just disgusting. Good game opponent. That was, uh, that was brutal. Gotta admit. Okay, so their warded battlements was amazing. Like, if I had two warded battlements, on the other hand, though, that would be a lot of cards to invest in a deck that doesn't have much card advantage. <laughs> Write the name for my opponent, but this hand looks decent. I think we leave with Scorch Spitter. More likely that it's going to be blocked or be uh, have a creature that could block it before the Rust Wing. So better to get it out earlier as opposed to later. Also find the Mask of Immolation, so we'll swing one at my opponent. We'll play out the Mask. Just uh, using the mana efficiently next turn to see what we want to do. But uh, we get another uh, planes. We have land number three. We could play Burn Bright if we want to. Set them back a mana. Or we run out makeshift battalion. Do they block? I think it's worth it. Kill their creature. We slow them down. And next year we can Falcon into Aegis. Playing Radiant Fountain. Okay, getting some life back. Sentry. Okay. We can play the Aegis on the Scorch Spitter. Enchanter or something, they're eyeing their sentry alone. Okay, they give it dub. Okay, raise the alarm. Another battalion. Just kind of brick my aggro. Maybe I should have waited in the burn bright. There's a green speaker though, that's a card. Put another land. Um If we attack now, 
they probably block the battalion in a 1-1 one -one or something. The green speaker. It would take 4 damage. Uh, 5, I guess, with the spitter. It'd be at 7. You would have 3 creatures left. And... We can get like ten to four. I guess we just play out Italian like this and the um, the Falcon pass the turn. If we draw a pump. We could still win. We can also jump here with the uh, token. Get one to them. Buy myself an extra turn. It'd be tough. It'd be tough. I'm, I'm the creatures again. Maybe thinking of fighting or doing some kind of a bind. Okay, the pacifism. Battlements, that's something. So here they would block two, and they would. Yeah, they block the biggest two. I guess they'd probably block here and here, maybe, and then they take three. I think it's worth it. They do end up wanting to block the spitter. Let's see if they have a pump effect. Or at least they're going to use the dryer. Right. Okay. They do actually have Titanic Birds. So they are going to kill Spitter. It's going to take four in the process. I guess more than four. So actually, if they don't have a blocker for Rustwing or way to gain life, they're dead here because you can double equip the mask and kill them. Okay, they swing. Do they have another Titanic Growth? It would kill me if they do. Okay, they do. Man, so we play around it. Play gear per guy. I raise the alarm. They have another blocker. Um. I think we just swing one in the air, attach the mass to battalion, pass the turn. Yeah, okay. Could have been a big punt if that was one of the ones that are newer that prevent activated abilities from being used. I know that some of those, like Bound and Gold, prevents activated abilities. I guess we're just dead. I would have had to kill the gear per guide. Yeah, that's gonna do it. Reading cards helps. <laughs> I'm just trying to think. So we could have sacked there, equipped sacked. Then we would have had a 1 1 to block. Yeah, we might have been able to win that game. Okay, what do we got here? Decent opener, I think. No equipments or enchantments for Novus Knight, but I think we helped all the time. The next turn, probably just want to run out, raise the alarm. No point in running out Daybreak Charger before I have something that can use the plus two attack bonus. Well, it leads with this one. A duress. We can raise the alarm. We seem to have found a suitable one drop play. And I have the three. Next turn, probably just run out the battalion. And I have a 
walking corpse. Sure. A lot of opponents running to rest. Daybreak Charger, pump in their walking corpse, see if they attack here. If they choose to, we say no thanks. We got here another land, they'll run out the Daybreak Charger, giving the Novus Knight a um, buff. So we can fight at them. Chump it. Zombie. Pin that in. And he died. We could attack with the Novus Knight and the Charger to trade one of the, their things for that. Um, if we send Battalion, they can uh, double block and we get the Zombie, I guess. I think it's a behooves, or rather, I think it behooves us to just send. Uh, they might just take the double block, like I said. Not the end of the world, it's trading a uh, zombie for a battalion. It looks like they're just jumping. Leaving up the battalion. Makes me a little scared, they might have like a board wipe. But on the other hand, this is like core set draft, so how many board wipes are there going to be? Not too many, I hope. In mind rod, okay. Let's take a game to them. I guess they're at one, not completely dead. Alright. Take it. One goes first. I think this hand's keepable because we have thrill. And we do have a creature. And we have an Aegis. That helps things tremendously, though. Blue might have bounce effects, which would be really bad for us here. Fear of the Bitten. Do you want to just go all, all in? I don't think so. We're going to leave up Aegis for a future turn, I guess. Or if they bounce Novice Knight, lets us. Uh, play it again if they get a blocker we don't want uh, to have to deal with. Novice Knight it up. My thrill is instant speed. Send four of them. Play motivator, pass the turn. I guess now by not adding the Aegis we missed that on two damage, they'd be at ten. Ego, okay. Okay. So if we Aegis them and pump our team, we've added five damage to the board. They would um I guess be at two. Pitching um, the mountain to the rail. If I had a shock, I probably would have gone for the burn bright play there. Getting them to two would be just very nice. 
I guess I do have the um, mask that can, you know, ping stuff. Okay, we're gonna uh, pitch the rail here, though. Or pitch the mountain to thrill. Draw a couple of cards, see what we find. This opponent's gonna counter that. Lock the denial. Sure. I'm doing that one anyway. Um, I guess we just sent. I don't think that affects. Double block. Any moment of heroism. Double as we've done before. I guess we just play a mountain. That was the only discard spell I had, right? It was the thrill, and it's gone. Okay. Here we go, we take it. Take game five, I guess. I thought it was three before, but we have won five games now. Okay, so we have a couple of good white cards. Also have Mask. I think we keep it. I uh, don't know that Mulligan really gets us anywhere. The opponent did Mulligan though, so that hopefully a good sign for us. Might mean they have an awkward hand, or are going to otherwise stumble. But we're going to lead with Raise the Alarm into Daybreak Charger, most likely. Okay, they run out of rented, or rugged highlands. We get another mountain, or uh, we get another plains, excuse me. We would like a mountain, that would be ideal, so we can play up a mask. But uh I would play crossing. Oh no, that was <laughs> potentially disastrous. Okay. They raise the alarm. Get the mountain. Um I guess we play out the planes. Daybreak charger on one of them. Send is annoying that it is a 3 3 blocker. We get 3 damage in. The next turn we can run out Mountain. And. Play Mask and Heroism. Or just run out Inspiring Captain. And there's 3 men out. They haven't really done anything. Doesn't seem they have stops. So I don't think they necessarily have removal. Put this out. We Potentially trade a 1-1 one, one to get in 6 damage, taking them to 12. Yeah, it's probably pretty good. I just also blocked the Daybreak Charger here. Okay, but they pop the block in the two Okay, they get to 4 mana. the turn. Very interesting. I think we just send with everything again. Having mask raise the alarm or a moment of heroism at our disposal. Opponent electrifies. I think we just go with moment of heroism again. Yeah. We want to trade their Tyrandodon with it still. That's also fine. Bring them to 8. And we pass the turn. Crazy Alarm at a turn. They play Mask. The meteorite, okay, stomps the Charger. Horse gets hit with the Meteorite. Like something out of Attack on Titan. Um, Squad Champion. Yeah, that's pretty good. We swing for three of them. And Squad Champion it up. We get the squad going. I guess the squad was already there. Just needed its captain. So what we could even do is... Okay, they play Dracosep. What does that do? When it attacks... I think we just win because we send um, everything. Play Mask and... Sack, sack. Okay, we play Mask of Immolation. Sack to them. Equip. And sack to them. Okay. 
Six wins. Can we get seven? Okay. This looks like an unkeepable hand. I think we have to mulligan here. Try to get something better. This does look better. Opponent mulliganed as well, so that's good for us. Okay, I think we send back a planes. Or we get some back a thrill. Only 36% chance of drawing land. I think we send back thrill. We also send back worded battlements because you don't necessarily have any really go wide plays yet. But I think it's going to be good here. It was really good, you know, the one game we got it out and we're able to do that disgusting like turn 5 kill. And we run up the magnet. Now it's going to be a question of whether or not we run up Battlements or just run up the Braggart or Boggart, Boggart Brute. Mm, okay. Visitor. I think it's better to keep up the damage, not attack. Magma. Just ping for one instead. Don't really want to trade right now. Especially where. Um. Especially where we both had mulligans, and, uh, or at least I had to mulligan, so I don't have as many cards in there on the draw. I think we just ran out the battlements here. And they definitely have something they can do because they have the Inquisitor, but it's not clear if they have an alternate effect as well. Something to um, buff their Inquisitor. So far, pretty mono white though. Okay, they missed a land drop again. I guess not again, but they do miss a land drop. Um, like Daybreak Charger. Buff the Boggart Brute. They didn't have anything to kill last time, they probably don't have anything this time. We hopefully will get in for five here. I had to give it first strike. The good thing here, too, is that the Inspired Charge... Okay, they just concede! Man, they don't find their next land drop and they've had enough. So it looks like we do take it there with Boros Aggro in Constructed... Or not Constructed, <laughs> Core Set Limited. I thought it was a fun draft. I'll see you next time.